A Memphis pastor from South Korea is weighing in on President Donald Trump's summit in Singapore with North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un. As WMC Action News 5's Kendall Downing explains that pastor says the summit was something he never saw coming. A lot of hope and excitement. That's how Pastor Joseph Shin says he feels one day after watching North Korea's Kim Jong-un shake hands with President Donald Trump. Shin moved from South Korea, where he grew up, to Texas 17 years ago and now leads a group of 30 Koreans at Cordova Baptist Church. Shin says he watched the meeting with anticipation and couldn't believe it was happening. Emotional, deeply, because the North and South Korea, uh, you call them North and South Koreans, but we are one country, share the same culture and then speak the same language. We are one people. The issue is personal, too, for political analyst Mike Nelson. He has a son and daughter-in-law living in Seoul, South Korea. At least for today, you know, we're feeling uh, less of a burden, less of a fear that they may be in danger because of a war. Nelson says questions linger after the president's summit, namely, what did it accomplish? Political pundits have said the North's promises to denuclearize are vague and hardly enforceable and the U.S. squandered a true opportunity to negotiate. I'd love it if, if all of us who are expressing doubts later had to eat crow, because that would mean the world is a safer place and we're a safer country. For Joseph Shin, hope in North Korea is something he'll take, the first glimmer of it in decades. We cannot really expect him to change just overnight, right? But uh, just a step by step, gradually, we want him to change and then open you know, his country. In Cordova, Kendall Downing, WMC Action News 5. And Tennessee U.S. Senator Bob Corker released a statement on the North Korea summit saying, quote, while I am glad the president and Kim Jong-un were able to meet, it's difficult to determine what of concrete nature has occurred. I look forward to having Secretary Pompeo before our committee soon to share his insights and look forward to carrying out our oversight responsibilities, end quote. A Memphis pastor from South Korea is weighing in on President Donald Trump's 